afternoon everyone, I'm Louise, I'm the Community and Events Manager here at Signal in Borden and I'm joined today by the lovely Suzanne Driver who um, is with 365 Training Consultants. She's a resident in here in our building, welcome Suzanne. Mm -hmm. And we thought we'd bring today um, a little sort of how-to video on what is happening in the new world as we find ourselves. Um, the new world in that we cannot, we won't in the future be gathering as we used to, we won't be visiting as we used to in the next few weeks. So we're trying to get ahead of the game and just to give you a little bit of an insight as to what Suzanne is currently doing as she does training on Office 365. So Suzanne, talk us through what the first step is that you are finding in your business as a training consultant. So I think um, a lot of classroom training is being cancelled, so we're moving towards more uh, remote training yeah. and uh, meetings as well, they cover the same sort of area. So an important part of using Office 365 is to utilise Microsoft Teams, but what some people might be surprised to know is that you can actually invite people into a meeting or training session and they don't have to have Teams. Do they have to have Office 365? No, they don't have to have okay. Office 365. So all they do is click on a link and it will offer them the opportunity to access Teams through a web browser. So sorry to stop you there. So if you wanted to just set up a meeting or, or set up some kind of um, seminar, if you like, with people that you would normally meet in person, you create it and send the link out to the other people. That's right. Okay. So all you do is if you open your Outlook, if you're an Office 365 user, and create a meeting, you'll see at the top there's a, a button that says Teams meeting. Okay. And you just press Teams meeting and it puts the link and everything, embeds it within the email, and you can add whoever you want in there. It does not have to be people in your organisation. Right. Okay. So you could invite everybody from the hub and everybody could receive that email and just simply click on the link um, at the appropriate time and join the meeting. Okay. Right, so um, Suzanne, with Teams, is it, is it you, can it be used for like an online chat or a video chat? What, how can it be used? Yes, yeah, so with um, chat, you can do a video call or um, a chat with your colleagues or if they happen to be in your guest account. However, meetings can be done with anyone. I think that's the, right. that's the key thing. You okay. set up a meeting and you can schedule a meeting for five minutes time or yeah. a couple of days time and just add everybody into that meeting. And what's good about Office 365 meetings is it will all set up some, you can have notes that you use for the okay. meeting. You can have a meeting and you can have an online panel down the right hand side. So. In a training environment, I would say to people to use the uh, conversation to maybe say if they wanted to ask a question or can I ask something. Oh, is that when it, all the questions come yeah, up on the right hand side of the screen? Okay, yeah. I have seen that. Yeah, okay. so you can do that. Right. Um, and what else is really good is this desktop sharing where you share the screen with somebody. And that can be used to discuss a file or to show people how to do something that I would do in a training environment. And you can give your screen to be presented by somebody else as well. Oh, so if okay. I was training you and I said, right, Louise, would you like to have a go? I could say, I'm now passing you control. Right. And the other thing that you can do with video calls is that you can record them as well. So they can be recorded and played back too. So there's a lots of things and tools within Office 365 that if people haven't explored them, and quite often in a small business, people sort of look at Teams as if it's for large organisations, yeah. but actually, if you utilise the meeting side of it, you will get a lot out of it, because there's only two of us in our organisation, but we can literally get anybody to join in right. using the meeting functionality. I think it's really important that all um, business owners now start looking at this way of working because 
not only is it going to change in the foreseeable future, but going forward, it might then become a really productive way in running your meetings going forward when this crisis is over, in that you don't have to gather everybody into the building to have a meeting. You can still be remotely so people can get on with other, you know, with other things. I mean, I think it's a brilliant um, skill to learn. I think, you know, it's good that we utilise all these facilities that we have at our fingertips that we don't often even look at. So I think it's a brilliant opportunity to learn these skills. Yeah, and that's what um, I'm you know, happy to share. And I think we'll perhaps have a little online training session now, mm. Louise. And Definitely. And people can see what's involved in it. Brilliant. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So I've set up this meeting with in Teams to invite Louise to a meeting. So I'm going to open it and join it. And you'll see that it's giving me the option now to make sure I've got all my settings correct and I'm going to blur my background which is a very important part um, when you're actually delivering training because you don't want any distractions. So I'm going to join now and you can see um, I'm in front of the webcam but my background is blurred out and you cannot see anything I've got my cursor here and you can actually record a meeting I can turn off the incoming video and down here I want to show my conversation So just waiting for Louise now to join the meeting. So I'm now going to join the meeting with Louise. And because Louise is external, it's actually saying that she's waiting in the lobby. So I'm going to admit her into the meeting. Hello, Louise. Hello. <laughs> so this is to see how Teams works. And on this occasion, although you have Teams, you've actually signed in as a user who does not have Teams, is that right? That's right, on the way, I've joined on the way, yeah. Okay, so can you see my background is blurred? You can't see? Yes, I can. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, so for example, if this was a meeting and we wanted to share information, uh, for me, a training session is quite good to put the uh, conversation down on the right-hand side so although we can hear each other with the audio, we can write messages yeah. in. I mean, with just okay. two people, that's not so important. But if you had a group of people, you would want to ask them to maybe put in um, a message if they wanted to, to speak. But okay. what I can do is use this icon here, which is the share icon, where I can actually share a, a screen with you. And right. in here, it's uh, just a presentation and it's just opening the, the presentation screen. So if I were delivering either a presentation. Okay, you can see the, you can see the, the there. Yes, and that okay. point is how you actually set up a meeting in the first place. This is directly through Teams, but you can do the same, right. the same thing um, in Outlook as well. So I just put um, people in there, whether they're external or internal, and send it. And then you get the um, embedded meeting invitation that you can join. Brilliant. Okay. It's, it's a very simple way of showing people how to do things without actually having to, to sit with them. So you can do it completely remotely um, and have your meetings and, and training online. Great. Okay. So how do you come back from that? Did you fill out the last Yes. So, um, if I come out of here, 
I'm going to stop presenting. I've got a stop presenting um, option here. And then you should have me back. <laughs> you do have to be aware of a few things. There is a slight delay in time, just very a few mini seconds, but you have to remember that. So don't speak too fastly when um, you're in a meeting or delivering a training session. And also be careful of the angle of, of your webcam. You know, just think about where your webcam is, is looking, you know, not to the right place. And um, if you're using it on a, on a mobile device, again, be very careful, sort of set everything up first. And you, because you were external, I had to actually accept you into that meeting. If you're right. part of the organisation that the Teams is linked to, then you don't have to wait, you just join in straight away. But because you were external, then I had to accept you into the meeting. Okay. Um, can I ask you about recording? Can you record these events? So here I can actually record that and it would start recording. It's always um, under GDPR, important to explain to everyone. You can see in my chat, it's saying recording has um, started, but I like to verbalize that as well. So I know, mm -hmm. Louise, yeah. I'm recording you. Mm -hmm. Good, okay, happy yeah. being recorded. Okay. Great, okay. All right. Well, I hope right. that was a very useful much. online session for you, Louise. And um, Thank you. I'll speak to you soon. Okay. And that was quite a good call and I have come out of the call now and it is now saving the recording. For me in Teams I have the chat and if we um, uploaded any files I could have uploaded it to that. Well, Suzanne, thank you so much for coming along and talking to us and really helping us. I know at the Signal team here, you have set us up. We've had some training with you and it's really helped the way we worked even before the coronavirus has come. So we use Teams on a regular basis. And if anybody wants to um, ask Suzanne some questions, you know, get some help, perhaps get some training, she is available and we'll put her contact details up so that you can contact Suzanne directly. But thank you, Suzanne. It's been really helpful. Thank you, Louise.